I'd like to explain uh, the virtualization of intensive input-output workloads thanks to enhanced platform awareness. In the screen I have the representation of a physical server based in two processors that are connected among them and also are also connected to memory and, and network interfaces. The motherboard of the server determines these connections and uh, each one of the processors have uh, six cores and since we have hyperthreading enabled, we have two CPUs in one in each one of these cores. So, if I want to deploy over this or in this uh, physical server my application that is intensive in input output, the first thing I want to do is to assign my application to a specific core, pin it to the core, because otherwise the operating system is going to be making me to jump over over each one of the CPUs and I want to remain in the same CPU in order to optimize the use of the cache of the CPU. Uh, even if my application has two CPUs, I want both CPUs be running in the same core because as long as I control this, uh, the application that is running in these two CPUs, I can coordinate them to make an optimum usage of the L2 cache of the, of the core. So this will be the, the most optimal situation. Uh, assuming that we are using both of the CPUs. Uh, in the same way that I want my application to be using specific dedicated CPUs, I want to do the same with memory. So I'm going to create hue pages and assign hue pages to my application. So I'm going to be using dedicated memory and dedicated CPU. I also want to do the same with the, with the network interface. So I'm going to use SRV interfaces that is taking a physical slot of the of the physical NIC and assigning it to the, to the interface. Okay, so we have dedicated SRV, dedicated memory, dedicated memory and dedicated CPU. And I want the three of them to be in the same NUMA because we want to explain lo uh, to, to, to take advantage of the locality. Otherwise, if for example, we have memory here, CPU here, and, and the SRV interfacing here, we will be traveling the whole time between the two processors and that will make our application to lose performance. My application assists intensive in input-output, I'm going to base it in DPDK. So, uh, thanks to, to poll mode, I'm going to be checking the whole time the interface, so as long as far as a new packet uh, arrive, I'm going to be able to, to process it exploring this locality. The thing is that I'm able to do all this in here because as I'm running the application directly over the server, I have visibility of the server. But if I in include a virtualization layer, I'm going to lose this visibility unless I use enhanced platform awareness te techniques. So, if I want to deploy my application over a virtual machine and I provide to this virtual machine CPU pinning, memory pinning and the SRV interface, I'm going to allow my application running in the virtual machine to have dedicated usage of the memory, memory, CPU and interface. So it's going to perform even being in this virtual machine as if it were running directly over the server. The same happens with container environments. If I have a Kubernetes environment that has CPA capabilities, I'm going to be able to assign to the, to the cloud native uh, uh, network function uh, the the CPU, the memory, and the SRV interface in a dedicated manner. So I'm gonna be able to perform as good as if, uh, as if I were using the application directly on the server. If I deploy the stacked version of this, that will be a Kubernetes EPA, EPA Kubernetes over an EPA VM we will be able to provide the physical resources to the container because we are providing the physical resources to the virtual machine and allowing the, the, the Kubernetes to pin them to the, to the container. So it's going to perform the same as we were with the application over the physical server. This asterisk in here is because this stack, as long as I know, is not being offered commercially because of the possibility of some limitations regarding the BIOS option of the virtual machine and implications with real-time for, for those BNFs or CNFs that may require real-time capabilities. But as f uh, with concern to performance, uh, just enabling the, this CPA at the two levels will allow the, the application to run exactly the same 
in this than in the physical server.